What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and a little over a week after the release of iOS 14.4 Beta 2, Apple returns today with the RC build, or the release candidate build, of iOS 14.4 and iPadOS 14.4 for both registered developers and for public beta testers. Along with these updates, we also got watchOS 7.3 RC, tvOS 14.4 RC, and Xcode 12.4. RC. And as I mentioned in my previous 14.4 beta videos, there was a good likelihood of Apple skipping something like a 14.3.1 and going directly to 14.4 for the next public release. So we'll discuss all of that later in the video, but let's first discuss what's new in this iOS 14.4 and iPadOS 14.4 RC build. We'll also discuss the performance and battery life, the bugs, any type of issues and more. So first off, let's take a look at the size of this update. So you can see here on my iPhone 12, the update came in around 4.54 gigabytes and the update was over four gigabytes for most devices some bigger or smaller than others but of course that size will vary depending on the version you're coming from and also of course what device you're on if you go ahead and check out the build number for this update in our settings general about 14.4 we can see the build number here is 18d52 and if we go down a little bit to the modem firmware you can see we do also get an update there it's now 1.42.03 for the iPhone 12 series there. So it's actually pretty interesting that we went from a beta two to a full RC build. It's pretty interesting. I mean, we did have a lot of time in betas, but we really only got two beta releases. So it's kind of interesting that Apple skipped from a D build all the way to the RC here. But nonetheless, I am happy that we have the RC build here because that really gives us a good indication of when we can see 14.4 final get released to the public, which once again, we'll talk about that later on. So first off, let's talk about the new changes here in iOS 14.4, the RC build. And Apple actually gave us release notes in this build as well. And if we take a look at the release notes here, you can see that Apple mentions three new features and six new bug fixes. Now I'm gonna talk about these, but I'm not gonna go as in depth in them because this is the RC build. You guys have already heard about these. I will talk more about these features in depth and more features as well in my 14.4 what's new video when it gets released to the public. But anyways, the first thing is going to be the ability to scan smaller QR codes. So that was a problem that a lot of people have had for pretty much like years now. But now finally, smaller QR codes can be recognized by the camera, which is great for all iPhones. We also have another feature here that I talked about in my previous 14.4 video. And right here, I only have Apple devices listed, so I'm not able to do this here. But if you go into settings on this device right here, and then go to Bluetooth and go to like my car, for example, you can see that we have a new option there for device type. So you're now able to specify the device type for each Bluetooth device that is not you know, Apple related. So Apple already knows, like for example, all of these AirPods, Apple knows that these are you know, for headphones, but it may not know that something like a Tesla is exactly a car stereo. So things that are not Apple branded, you're gonna be able to change the device type to give better understanding for like headphone audio levels and things like that. So that is a nice new feature here in 14.4. There's also a new notification in iOS 14.4 that will let you know if your camera, if you got your camera reinstalled, so like if you dropped your phone and you needed to get your camera fixed and maybe get a new camera lens put in your iPhone 12, if it doesn't come straight from Apple, you will now get a notification telling you that it is not a genuine Apple camera installed on your iPhone 12. So that's pretty interesting and pretty good as well. And those are the only three things that Apple mentioned in the release notes, but we do also have more improvements to HomePod's handoff feature. So of course, when we hand off to the HomePod, if I just move it closer to the HomePod, we will get like, you know, the haptic feedback and everything like that. So if I pull this closer, you can see that I do get the haptic feedback there and it opens up. And this is just so much better. There's a lot of features and a lot of changes and stability updates in here as well, but really nothing major different from beta two, but definitely a big difference from beta one because it's just so much more stable and just works so much better now here in this RC build and also in the second beta. Now, as far as bug fixes go, Apple did mention quite a few bug fixes for 14.4 here as well. And the first one has to do with the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro like I have right here. So Apple says that it fixes an issue where image artifacts could appear in HDR photos taken with the iPhone 12 Pro. So I personally have not seen this happen on my phone and I've really not heard about it either, I don't think. But 
that would be pretty annoying to just have random artifacts appear in the photo and you would have to like edit them out with Photoshop or something like that. So that has been fixed here in 14.4 if you were facing that issue. Also, Apple mentions that the keyboard lag has been fixed in 14.4. So, so many people over the past like year have mentioned how they have keyboard lag on their iPhones pretty much with every version. But now Apple says that typing may be delayed or word suggestions may not appear in the keyboard. That has been fixed. So if you had any issues with typing being delayed or you know word suggestions not appearing in the keyboard like when you go to type something right here those have both been fixed in 14.4 also if the keyboard would not come up in the correct language in your messages application that's also been fixed here in 14.4 so a lot of fixes for that keyboard specifically inside of the messages application and then we have other minor bug fixes like with the fitness widget sometimes it would not display your updated activity data so it would just show from like hours before i faced this issue as well that has been fixed here in 14.4 we have things like audio stories from the news app and carplay not resuming after being paused and then we have a fix for enabling switch control and accessibility preventing phone calls from being answered from the lock screen so some minor bugs there except for the keyboard issues and of course the image artifact issue with hdr photos on the iphone 12 pro i think those are going to both be really great bug fixes that some people have probably been facing since ios 14 or ios 14.3 so no major changes from beta 2 in terms of visual features or changes but i would assume that this update will fix a lot of the bugginess that i and many of you have had as well on betas 1 and beta 2. so thankfully beta 2 did fix the stutter issue for me so a ton of people pretty much everybody that i've seen in my comments myself included had really bad stutter and frame drop issues with beta 1 but beta 2 did fix that however after running beta 2 i've noticed that i do have other issues with this version or with the previous version i should say and hopefully the rc build fixes that so let me show you guys the issues i was facing so i'm still on the second beta on my iphone 12 pro here my main device and i've been running into some issues so let me show you the issues i'm running into so if i go ahead and swipe down here's the first issue and this is still live right now this is not a recording take a look at this when I swipe down to go to like search you know the spotlight search there I literally can't it just turns blurry and I can't press anything on my screen I have to swipe up from the bottom again to get back to that and it just happens constantly I've had to reboot to fix it but then it just comes back so that was an issue that I did not have in beta 1 but I did have in beta 2 so hopefully that's fixed in the RC build and I will let you guys know when 14.4 gets released to the public or maybe when the second RC build comes out but that's one of the issues I've been facing and then I also had this really annoying issue just today so when I would go into the messages application it would just simply turn black and you can see here even in the app switcher it is completely black for some reason it just completely bugged out and I had to quit out of the application to get anything to appear in messages again so that was another really random issue that I had here in the second beta of 14.4 so hopefully the RC build does fix that. And of course I will report back to you guys if either one of those two issues or if both of them have been fixed in the RC and in the final build. But aside from those two bugs, the performance on beta two was fine. I mean, it wasn't anything amazing. I think that 14.3 was still more stable and faster, but the RC build here, which I have now on my regular iPhone 12, is actually smoother and it definitely feels smoother and just faster than the second beta just instantly like pretty much within the first 30 minutes of using it i could tell that it's just snappier and i've not had any bugs and this was also backed up by a geekbench score here as well so you can see i did a geekbench here and you could see this score compared to the second beta so on beta 2 i got a 1578 single core got a 1599 on the rc build so a nice improvement there in single core and then also a big improvement in the multi-core score so you can see i got a 3845 on the second beta and a 4036 on this RC build. So definitely some improvements in performance here on the release candidate build compared to the second beta, which is really not surprising. I mean, we were on a D build, so it had a D at the end of the build number and we went straight to the RC. So really no surprise that the RC build here in the final version is going to be a good bit more stable and faster than that second beta. Now, when it comes to the battery life, battery life on beta two was pretty much the same as beta one, which neither one are as good as 14.3. So I consistently got better battery life 
on iOS 14.3. So hopefully iOS 14.4 will improve upon that. And of course I will let you guys know, you know, how battery life is when the final public release of 14.4 releases, if it releases next week. So stay tuned for that, but I am expecting the RC build and of course the final build to be slightly better than the beta builds in terms of battery life. And hopefully it ends up being the same or better than 14.3. So now let's talk about when we can expect to see iOS 14.4 released to the public. So if you pull up the calendar here, you can see today is January 21st and Apple released this RC build on a Thursday. And that's likely due to the fact that we had a holiday, a US holiday on that Monday. And then we had the inauguration on the 20th. So Tuesday was kind of crammed in the middle there and Apple doesn't usually like to release things around holidays. I'm actually kind of surprised they even released it at all this week, but we did get this on a Thursday. However, I would not expect Apple to release iOS 14.4 to the public late next week. I would expect it early next week. So if I had to guess, I would guess maybe the 26th right here. So possibly on Tuesday, the 26th or the 27th. One of those two days is very likely. However, there is also the possibility that we get a second RC build. We saw this with 14.3 just last month. We got a 14.3 RC2 before the final public release of iOS 14.3 to the public. So there is also a possibility that maybe on a Monday or Tuesday, we get the second RC build. Then we could even see 14.4 released to the public later in the week if that happens. So we'll have to wait and see. It depends on if Apple finds any more critical bugs that they did not patch up. That would be the only reason to release a second RC build. But if they don't find any bugs, then I would expect that early next week for the 14.4 release. So now what about iOS 14.3.1? Because I've had a lot of people comment on my videos and talk to me on Twitter about a 14.3.1. And as I mentioned in multiple videos here on the channel, iOS 14.3 never really had any critical issues that needed any type of quick fix from Apple. So they never really needed to release a point of a point update like 14.3.1, especially since 14.4 had already been in its beta stage for so long. So I'm not expecting to see a 14.3.1 at all. And I even mentioned before that Apple could just go from 14.3 straight to 14.4 if they don't find any critical issues which it appears that they have not. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 14.4, the RC or the release candidate build, which of course is the new name for the gold master or GM build. Now, hopefully this is the only RC we get before the final public release, because with 14.3, we saw two different RC builds. So we'll have to wait and see. You really never know with anything with Apple these days. So we'll wait and see. Of course, you guys can follow me over on Twitter and on Instagram to be updated when things get released. And of course, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss when these new updates get released for you. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.